Thanks for joining 28 and under eight. This is day 22 and today we are going to hit back and buys. So I hope that you are adding this small little workout onto one of your soul strength fit workouts, or maybe you're just getting this in on a day that you just ran out of time, but we will move fast. We will hit your back. We will get your biceps. You will feel this in your upper body. So here's what I got going on for weights. I'm going to try to do the majority of our standing portion with tens. I might drop down to my eights at some point. And then we're gonna come down to the mat for a real quick superset and you need a heavy dumbbell. So my heaviest that I happen to have right now is 15, but um, we're going to do overhead lat pulls and you can go heavy on that. So a heavy dumbbell for when you come down. Otherwise, I'm gonna get started with my tens. Gather up your dumbbells. I'm gonna hit the timer and let's get started. So we are beginning with wide arm rows. Feet together, booty back, palms face your knees. And now I want you pulling your arms out to 290 degree angles, feeling like you're lifting through your shoulder blades, lifting your elbows right up towards the ceiling. You need to concentrate on a nice long spine. Gaze stays down. So really elongate from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Pull your core in tight. Shift your weight to your heels. Just three, just two, and one, done. Okay, come on, all the way up to standing, and now wide arm bicep curls, back and bice. Palms face out, maybe one foot forward, one foot back. Straight up to your shoulders and right back down. All the way up and right back down. So, your elbows might lift away from your rib cage a bit. That's okay. These are a little tough. But we can do this under eight minutes back and by so we're just going to move quickly from one to the next after this we're back to a back exercise back to the back and you have about three seconds left just two and one done okay feet together hips back this time narrow rows the only difference is your palms face each other sink low weighting your heels and now pull it up and right back down all the way up and right back down on these narrow rows maybe you can start to pick up the pace. Now, I want you to feel like your shoulder blades are driving together at the top of this movement, like there is a magnet pulling them together. Elbows directly to the ceiling. Make sure you're really pulling your hips back and the crown of your head forward. So you're really lengthening your spine. Just a couple more seconds and done. Okay, back up to standing. Go back to biceps. And this time, kind of stay in arm position, hammer curls. So your hands stay parallel. And now thumbs right up to your shoulders. So arms stay parallel the whole time. And once again, if you feel, you can maybe start to pick up the pace. So with our hands in like this, um, a little bit easier to pick up the pace at least. I'm not gonna say the exercise is necessarily easier, but I want you trying to get as many repetitions as you can in these 30 seconds, 30 second intervals here. After this, we're back to the wide arm rows. Three, two, one, done. Okay, feet together, booty back. Palms face your knee and let's go. Big 90 degree angle box. So you're lifting your elbows right up to the ceiling, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Your wrists should pretty much align right under your elbows as you lift. Big wide boxes, two big 90 degree angles as you're lifting through your elbows. Shift your weight to your heels, sink your booty down and low. Keep this going, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, go back to the wide arm bicep curls. Under eight minutes, back and bys. We got a lot of repetitions to get in. We got a lot of work to get in in a short amount of time. So that we can really kind of tucker out these muscles so that we can really dig into your back and your bicep muscles and fatigue them. So, second and last time through with these right arm bicep curls, I want you to really get in as many repetitions as you can. Keep your shoulders pulled back, chin high, chest high, and just three, and just two, one, done. Okay, feet together, booty back. We're back to those narrow rows. And this time, one arm at a time, alternating, pull and pull, pull and pull. I want you to really pick up the pace. You're picking up the pace, but you're not, you're not sacrificing form. You're still really squeezing each shoulder blade back, back. Really pull, drive your elbow to the ceiling, drive that shoulder blade toward the other. Keep this going. If you're weighting your heels, 
Nice long flat back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, okay. Now we're back to those camera curls, but same thing. We're gonna take this one at a time. It's almost like you're running. I don't know, it's like we're running, kind of, but we're getting a bit of pace here. Feet together, or one foot forward, one foot back. Whatever feels better to you. If your feet are together, I want you to have super soft bend in your knees. Keep this going. We have two more standing exercises, and then we're down on the mat. You have about seven seconds left right here. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay, if you were to drop weights, these next two might be the, the two to drop just slightly because we're moving into rear delt. So now, booty back, palms together, big wide arms lift and lower. Big wide arms lift and lower. So you're just keeping lengthened arms, but they're not locked out. Soft bend in your elbow, and once again, you have magnets driving your shoulder blades together at the top of this movement. Keep this going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Done. All right. I want your elbows pinned at your rib cage. We're gonna open, close, and push. I forgot to drop weight. This is the one I was gonna drop weight on. Servers are tough. We're adding a little rotation and then a server. You open and push. I'm not dropping down, I'm sticking with it. Oh boy, we have 10 seconds left. Then we're gonna come down to the mat. Almost there, stay with it, try to get a couple more reps. Three, two, one, done. Come down to the mat super quickly, lay on your back and gather up your heavy, heavy, heavy dumbbells. You could even just push two dumbbells together. Start with your feet planted, double right over your chest, reach it overhead, and you're simply pulling it through. So, I'm gonna give you an add-on. We may as well, let's add a bridge to this. Lift your hips as you lift your dumbbell and lower. Lift and lower. Now again, this is a lat. I'm trying to target your lats here. Squeeze through your shoulder blades as you pull this heavy dumbbell. If you don't feel this, we're gonna do it one more time and then we need to get a heavier dumbbell or push two dumbbells together. But for now, quickly, come to standing on your knees, last bicep curl. Let's go. Let's just bring your palms to your shoulders and then palms face each other as you lower. So we've got this. You have one more time with that lat pull and you will have made it through an under eight back and buys workout. Good for you. Keep this going. We have about 10 seconds to go. Rotate and lower. Keep this going, burn out those biceps. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. All right, on your back. And this time with these pullovers, I'm going to suggest adding a reverse crunch. Starting lifted, tap your heels and lift. Lower and lift. Let's finish this out right now. You could pretty much tap that dumbbell all the way down as you lift up. Almost done. Let's take five, four, three, good. Two more, two, and one. Nice job today on this back and buys workout. I will see you tomorrow.